Hey folks, it's Chris with TheFoosers.com and here's another video in my series of Is It Worth Your Time Scrapping a Blank? In this case, it's going to be an LCD TV. Um, this one's going to be real tricky because there's a lot of variables involved. And we're going to get to that and I'll explain a little more just after this message. I'm going to keep this short and keep you YouTuber police off my back with a few disclaimers. Uh, number one, scrap value is always the lowest price for an item, just above garbage. Uh, so if you bring something home and it works or has working parts, consider selling it on Craigslist, eBay. That's actually how I make a lot of money. Uh, number two, scrap prices change with the stock market. Uh, good rule of thumb, like I stated, but not fact. Uh, when oil prices are high, usually scrap prices go up and then vice versa. Um, for the purpose of this video, I've just stated the prices from the last trip I made. Uh, so they're not going to be your prices. So I'm just using these as comparisons for the video. Number three, come on, use common sense. We're working with metals. They're sharp. Uh, they have sharp edges. Wear gloves, protective eye gear. Do what you need to do to keep yourself from going to the hospital and cutting to any profit you might make. If you haven't seen my videos before, um, I don't show you how to tear something apart. What I try to do is get you in the ballpark of what something is worth just picking up and taking to the scrapyard to taking home and tearing it apart. Uh, the LCD TV or the flat screen TV is a little more difficult and tricky because there are a lot of variables and we're going to get into this right now um, because it really depends on what kind of scrapper you are and what your scrapyard will take. In my case, my scrapyard is really laxed when it comes to uh, steel and light iron. Uh, basically, if it weighs something and uh, has metal in it, they're going to take it. Uh, though it's frowned upon and I've never done it, uh, they will take this and uh, this is, is going to create our baseline. Um, so as you can see, this is 48 pounds of steel. Somewhere along the line, I lost a lot of footage for this video, so I'm going to try to talk us through it and make a new video when I come across another TV. Uh, my insulated wire that I pulled out of here, I uh, only came up to about 9 ounces, so with current prices, I'm only netting 36 cents with this wiring. And then I moved on to circuit boards, and this is where all your variables are going to come into effect. For the video, I just measure things as low-grade boards, which my scrapyard takes. Um, for a lot of people that actually are looking for gold uh, in an LCD TV, there are a few circuit boards that do carry gold-plated materials, which I do pull aside. I've been collecting for about two years, but I haven't cashed in yet, so I can't quite give you a value. So again, for the purposes of is it worth scrapping a blank, I'm just going with low grade boards and we're at about 5 pounds 2 ounces, which you can't see in this video. Uh, and now let's add this up and see where we're at.
my videos are in no way to persuade people to do things one way or the other. And I hope you take something out of this. I know there's a lot of variables involved and we keep talking about it. Um, I personally, because I'm an e-waste collector, I take the time to tear them apart. I'll let you be the judge of that. Uh, but until next time, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, negative or positive, please comment below. I'm a big boy. I can take it.